Click inside this new file string methods dot html. methods <clears throat> no script okay now let I gonna create a string okay uh, email okay is equals to I gonna write an email at usit at the rate of gmail.com okay. this is a string okay this is the only string you can write text here okay you can write a para here say so anything you can write now <clears throat> we'll try to see what is the string methods what are all the string methods we have here we'll try to have a string methods string Sequence of characters. Okay. Next string methods. There are many methods out of which we are going to see a few. Okay. Like uh, uh, there are many methods like uppercase, lowercase, slice, splice, uh, trim, concat. Okay, we'll try to see what are all the methods we have. First, we'll go with length. Okay, properties. This is going to be the properties. Okay, properties in the sense P R O P E R T I E S properties. We have this length. Next, when it comes to methods, what are all the methods we have? Okay, when it comes to these methods, we have caret, caret, at. And we have care product products. And we have uh, index of and the index index of, and we have uh, last index of index of. <coughs> Next, we have replace. Okay. Replace all. And we have concat. Proper case. Trim. Okay. And we have two uppercase to include yeah, slice uh, to uppercase, lowercase, slice, substring. Bestia and uh, slice <coughs> next such such next okay and we have a few more okay split. There are a few more methods. Okay, you can like look into it. What are all they? We'll try to understand these methods. Few methods. Okay, what is this going to do? Okay, what is this method? What is this property? First, we'll try to look into property. Okay, how uh, behind the scenes string is also stored as a stored in as a not double quotations. 
okay it is stored like an array okay how array it is going to be uh, array of index is always uh, array of, i mean index of array always starts with zero okay so in the same way it is going to store okay uh, here i'll can show you This is how the array is going to store, right? Okay, this is how the array is going to store. Okay, the same way string is also behind the scenes stores as an array. Okay, A is going to store here C, H, I, E, C, E, R. Okay, in that way, the string is going to store. Okay, now if you have a look, now what we are going to do is console dot log of email dot length what is this going to return yeah. length of the string okay save and we'll try to execute this the count is going to be 21 okay the string count is here the count is 21 okay that is how this string i mean uh length is going to work that also will be counted okay now we'll give you some space here 22 okay next uh this length in the sense this is a property we don't need to like pass the brackets over here again okay this is just a property next when it comes to method these are all the methods you have uh method in the sense you are going which is going to have brackets okay first we're gonna check with carrot what is this carrot character act okay character act we need to pass some index Okay, if you pass the index, it is at that particular index. What is the character available? It is going to return that character. Okay, we will try to see here itself. Uh, it we that this will be already here. This uh, email will be already here. So that what I'm going to do is email dot length in the sense it is going to return length. So I'm going to pass caret caret of character at uh, we need to pass the index see i can hit enter what is the character in the position of four it is having e zero one two three four okay it is going to start with zero the index now next what do we have in here you can easily understand character character in the sense it is expecting the index value okay care quadrant this is going to return some unique a unique code okay for each and every letter you, uh, you are going to have some uh, code unique code we call it as unique code okay care code it. okay uh, email dot care code at. It is going to return space. Just space, not zero. Not zero. Okay. Whatever it is uh, there, it is going to return. That's it. Character uh, coded index. We need to pass this some index. Okay. If like four for the same thing for e. Okay. The unique code for e is one zero one. Okay. So that is going to return that unique code. Understand? Uh, anything you can pass. Like I can pass uh, like seven, okay, one one four. The character code for uh, seven is I mean seven. What is there in seven? 
seven here if you write to check one zero one two three four five six seven for r it is going to be one one two one one four okay next method so can you use the r instead of seven hmm? can you use the r like a b c instead of no okay he's expecting index already so we need to pass index next index of email dot index of what is this index of is going to do sorry okay we will pass some care e okay it is returning zero okay if i pass something like uh email dot index of i'll pass something like uh oh, here it is going to expect some character index of uh, what is there inside this i'm going to pass e okay what it is returning a is not okay you need to pass inside single quotations okay what it is telling which for why it is for returning for it is going to look for the first index of e okay first occurrence from here it is going to search where the e is available it is like searching okay but it is going to look for uh, the first index okay next what do we have a uh, last index of last index of is going to do search from last simple last index of e okay email is not a function email dot last index of typo error is not a something we have written something wrong email dot last dot last index of we'll use something like o okay this return is print it's searching from the last next replace okay what is this replace is going to do email dot replace replace of what you need to you think that you need to replace something like instead of uh now oh, e okay you have more so you can take an example of e okay comma second index of here i gonna want j okay now if you try to see here what is happening in the place of e j comes into picture but only all the e's has been replaced no only the first occurrence okay now what you are going to do is if you want to replace all email there is a property called as method mail dot replace all okay this method now what you are going to pass for this method okay e comma j okay all the e is replaced with j now understood okay you can do the same pro, uh, functionality here also but here we to better understanding we are going to use here okay next what do we have concat okay what is this concat is going to do addition it is going to concat concatenation of two strings okay concat is nothing but concatenation of two strings uh let uh Address is equals to. I'm gonna have Bangalore. For this, what I'm gonna do? Okay, uh, concat. Concat. Email plus 
address. Okay. Uh, content. Okay. Sorry. Uh, we need to pass first we need to email. Email dot concat. Concat of address. Okay. Now what you can see, the both has been added. Okay. I choose site email and Bangalore. The both are added. Simple. Concat means nothing but adding uh, adding of strings. Next. Trim. Okay, what is this trim is going to do? Not, not this trim. Okay. Uh, where? Think that I uh, have my name is equals to this string. I'm going to give you some space. Okay. Say it then, yeah. Uh, something. M. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do? Name dot trim. Okay. What it is happening? The spaces are removed from the uh, beginning at the end. Next, includes. Okay, what this includes is going to do? It's going to see if it is included or not. Okay, for that, name dot includes. It is going to return true or false, Boolean expressions. Either it is, if it is available, it is going to return true or else false. Fine. If I like uh, search for something which is not available, false. What is this uppercase is going to do? Okay, everything will be yeah, yes. capital letters. Okay, think that uh, in real time you are working with uh, some uh, registration or a registration. Okay, you have given your username, you have given some capital letters. Okay, uh, by mistake only, or else you have given some uh, first name or last name. Shiva. Okay, if you are. Uh, Having you have forgotten, you have given, or automatically it has taken. Okay, but the first letter will be always taken capital letter. Okay, if that is the case, for the next time, if it, if you are uh, if you are not aware of you have given this, then it becomes a problem. So, what we, if wants to convert this to uh, lower cases, either lower case or upper cases, behind the scenes we can do this. Okay. Next, uh, the same thing to lower case as well. To lower case. Okay. The same has been changed to lower case. Next, we have slice. What is your slice is going to do? What is the general meaning of slice? It's going to return a part of the part of the string. Okay. It is going to return a part of the string. We are cutting the mango. We are what we are going to do? Slice the mango. That means we are taking one piece out of that mango. Okay. The same thing here as well. Name. Name dot slice. Okay. Here, what it is going to expect? It is going to expect an index zero, comma four. Okay, now what it is going to return from zeroth index, okay, and to the fourth index. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, now uh, zero, four, right? One, zero, one, two, three. Uh -huh. 
that space also included okay so that it comes up to 8 0 1 2 3 4 up to that previous index that is going to return understood <coughs> next uh, slice substring okay what is this substring is going to do name dot substring okay what is this substring is going to do is going to return not as in zero comma i'll take on uh, the another one what are all the things we have we have email also right so we'll try to use email email dot uh, substring so what is the substring is going to do it is going to expect two parameters one comma uh five now what are going to return? So it is going to do a one comma five C H I E. Okay, achieve C I T right? C H from first index. Okay, from first index to fifth index. Zero, one, two, three. What are all return? C H I E. There is I E here. Okay here up to here it is returning understood one comma five <clears throat> zero uh, one so that c it is started and five in the sense d e. okay it is going to start from the beginning okay the index is not going to start from that particular position it is going to start from the beginning again okay That's it's similar okay what this is going to do is it is going to return uh, an array it is going to separate it next we have email dot uh, str sub str what is this sub str is going to do okay the both are going to be the same like uh, sub string and sub str but what the thing is uh, a small difference no it is going to take uh, the index values the subs i mean uh, substring okay sub str what this is going to do is it the length it is going to take okay uh, okay uh, one comma the same values we're gonna pass okay now what it is showing okay that is the difference see here what the thing is it is going to look for the index okay here it is going to the second value is going to be from index this is for index value it is going to check the index value this is going to check the length okay next uh we have search search is nothing but to search okay whether it is available or not email dot search what you need to search ch Okay. If <coughs> one means okay. it is going to return the index of minus one or one. One in the sense it is true. Okay, minus one in the sense false. Okay. Here this is available in email. So it is returning one. Okay, if it is not available, it returns minus one. Okay. 
next split what is the split is going to do it just split all the words okay uh splits how you need to split okay if you hit enter okay each and every space will be splitted using in this double quotations okay or else you want something like hyphen uh there is no hyphen here so it is not going to uh, i mean uh that is not going to split yeah. double quotations in a sense it is going to split each and everything using this thing and also it comes in a it returns array okay so that now if you want to access this you can access this how you are going to access an array array name dot index okay now if you want to uh, take this i what is array here email dot email of index right index is uh, going to give something like five what it is written five zero one two three four five okay now this is an array understand not this is not the text plain text now if you want to access this this becomes an array next what do we have uh, split uh, that is it the properties the methods okay uh, this is how it is going to look like these are all the methods what is the methods in that sense it's uh, by default they have written this okay if you can also do the same things by using javascript but it is going to take time we need to like some logic and we need to do a, a sort of things okay in that cases what we are going to do we are going to use this methods in what cases we are going to use this methods for example uh, includes okay in what case we can use this includes okay uh, to check whether uh, we will be writing um, email ids okay what are all the need we want mandatory at, at the rate of gmail dot, dot com okay at the rate so these are mandatory in that cases what we are going to do we are going to check whether it is available or not whether it is included in it or not if it is not included then we need to raise an error like uh, this is not a valid email address correct and uh, for that is one of the scenario and the other one is uh, we, we you will be like uploading the images okay or else some uh, files resumes okay in the place of resumes you sh uh, you should not uh, update the normal image right you have gone to now query it what are all the uh, what are all the files it is going to accept PDF file, Word file, old doc. Okay, this doc it is going to accept. Not all uh, JPG, JPG, G, it will not. It should not allow, right? When since what is the condition? Okay, if it includes uh, dot png, I mean dot PDF or dot a word, then only accept it. Okay, and also for that, what you are going to do like uh, if it is include a dot a dot png or uh, you can split it okay first you can split it then you can check this okay As now think that we have some file name let's file name is equals to you have some file uh some resume dot uh, what is this pdf okay now what you need to do we need to uh, check uh, you need to first split this right which method we need to use let uh, file we need uh, we need to store that in a variable file split is equals to file name dot split of we need to pa dot okay so that what it is going to return 
we'll try to check it. It is going to split into two parts, which is going to be uh, that uh, resume and PDF. Console dot log of file split. Okay, now I'd like to see what it is written. In. What it is written in? Resume separately and PDF separately. Now uh, you can like now you can check this right. So that it is separated. Now you can easily check what is the, what is the file type. Now you can check with this, compare with this. Right? Next. This is one scenario. And uh, <clears throat> the image. Uh, uh, we need to check that image as well. Like it is going to accept only includes includes method. Okay. Uh, for this only we try to check. Okay, uh, dot resume. This is going to be dot. Now let we have email address right here. For this, we are we'll trying to check is email dot includes what we need to pass at the rate. Okay, now we try to uh, store this in a variable. Let uh, Email check. Okay. Now email length email check. Okay. Yes. And what it is returning? If it is true, then we can go ahead. So that it is true, we need to have an error. If it is not there. Okay. Or else uh, includes. At the rate and uh, Gmail or else email. Okay. Now, just want to return false. Okay, you can also write the condition. Here we are only checking one. Okay, if if condition you can write it. If condition and if it is uh, having at the rate gmail.com or else when it comes to this also you can check the uh, you can write the condition like. What uh, not only PDF format we need to accept, or you can use under or here. What you are going to use, uh, you need to use accept, it should accept PDF format as well as word format. What is the condition you are going to write? If, if, no, if, okay, single condition. If, uh, dot pdf okay or okay dot word okay if either of it is there get into it okay you know it like write any else on uh, that is not required uh, if and or and in the sense that it will be wrong the condition will be wrong because and both we cannot uh, we are not going to get both at once right that becomes a wrong. Understood what I was trying to tell? Huh? Uh, it should accept PDF file and Word file. Then okay. it should accept both. Which one you are going to use? Or this we call it as R, right? What is the condition for all? What? Any, any one should be true. Then it is going to be true. In and? Both are, both are, both, 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 both are true. Then only it is going to be true. So what we can do here? If condition? Okay. If? PDF uh, you can like get this into a variable. Okay. Uh where let value one because you are getting this. Okay, here the condition is value is s equals is equals to or PDF. Okay, 
or value this is equal to this equals to four okay then you can go in circles okay or else this is like uh entered okay accepted console dot log of accepted else alert alert uh please enter please give please select only pdf or four facts right if you give and here what it is going to do that is fine what the condition here okay if the condition is this should be true and this should be true okay it is go not going to satisfy because both are false and either one it is going to come okay when it comes to or anyone if anyone is true then okay fine either one is true it is going to be true understood See, we are not going to use all the methods. Okay, based on the requirement only, we are going to use methods. But methods plays very important. Okay, you need to know how the method is working. Okay, there are advanced methods also. Okay, which we will be talking in area six concepts, map, filter, reduce. Okay, in the same way we have uh, string methods. This is we have array methods. Tomorrow we try to talk about the array in detail. Okay, we haven't seen what is array, how it is going to be done. Right? So tomorrow we'll try to see array methods. Okay, in the same way, the array methods is also going to be, but in an array. Okay, well, if you try to understand this, what is there here? Then this is nothing. Okay, uh, by default in JavaScript, how it is going to work? If you wants to get something, like if you want to uh, split something, you needs to uh, write some lines of code. Okay. What here? What they have done in this method is they have seen this purpose. Okay, uh, they have seen this uh, more requirement. Okay, frequently they are going. People are using this. So what they have done is they have uh, written already these lines of code. Okay, and they have given this method. Think that you have, uh, you want split. Okay, they have given this split method. Okay, behind the scenes, what it is going to do? It is going. It's already written. Okay, it is already available. So uh, you can just use it. You can just use it. It's like a ready method. Okay, you are not uh, going to uh, stitch your shirt. Okay, go and buy, and you are going not going to tailor, and you are not going to stitch. You are just buying your ready made shirt and wearing. Okay, the same thing. And if you try to check here, it will be available. All the methods you can see here. Okay. Method. Uh, it's uh, inside this uh -huh. method set will be there. I need to search it. So uh, there is a lot of things inside it. Inside this string method, it is going to be there. Okay. There are these are all the inbuilt methods. Okay, the, uh, this is not only uh, just the methods, uh, all the events and everything will be over here. Okay, and we'll try to talk about all these things. Next, okay. Yeah, uh, this is all about like uh, string and string methods. Any doubts? All right. Try to uh, 